You know, when this was made, it was part of a magnificent dining room set, including a huge sideboard, the pedestals of which were this sarcophagus shape, which was introduced about 1810. And there was a big sideboard cupboard each side, big board over the top, and this went underneath and matched perfectly the rest of the set. Now, from 1810 to 1830, they were high-style fashion. By about 1840, they'd gone out of fashion. They've been used as log boxes and goodness knows what for years, and now they're coming back into fashion. People are using them for wine. But I want to have a look first at the designs on here, which give us that precise dating. Now, you have three major things to look for. Apart from the, the shape, which of course is that ancient sarcophagus, as I mentioned, you have a gadruning here, which is spiralled. So it goes that way and that way and meets in the centre here, and it gives that sort of great feel to it, lifting it up, making it look really important. It's a wonderful, wonderful shape. And you get that on silver at the same period. Then this part here is called nulling, and that's simply a bobbin turning. Yeah. And they split the, split the stick down the centre, and it's a half-circle moulding. But best of all are these feet. Lion's poor feet, you might say, well, could be Victorian. They're not Victorian because you have here a formalised lotus leaf, and it really gives it that much life, and it's important. The first drawing for that was published in 1826, and it could have been made within 10 years of then. So, tell me the family history. Well, uh, my great-aunt was uh, really good on sale rooms and house sales. Oh, right. And uh, her house was absolutely crammed with furniture. And uh, when I was coming up to four, I, this came into our house. I liked it very much because it was good for sliding on. <laughs> uh, you sat on here and slid down. <clears throat> yes. Since, oh, then, uh, <clears throat> since then, I have uh, You've stopped doing a that, bit yes. of furniture, yes. <laughs> And here inside, you can see, without any doubt, its original purpose was for drinks. This comes from the period when, of course, it was fashionable to, to lock the, the drink up uh, when you weren't using the dining room, uh, rather than just an open wine uh, bucket. And this has got its lead lining in, and the nice thing is that you can see here the places where there were little partitions went from side to side, and when required, they would fill it full of ice and uh, keep the wine cool. The interesting thing is that there is no sign of a tap to let the water out, which meant that this thing, full of water, had to be lifted up, taken out and, and emptied. I mean, so apart from its size and importance, you can tell it came from a great house because that requires staff. Yes. But it's a, just a fabulous quality piece. I mean, this is wonderful timber, choice of timber. I would think it's not unreasonable to imagine that it would have been made in the north of England, simply from the quality, which is wonderful. And today, uh, to replace it, you'd have to pay somewhere around six and a half thousand pounds. <laughs> so, it was a jolly expensive slide, wasn't it? Yes, it was. <laughs>